Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share some thoughts. I am currently almost eight weeks pregnant. In fact, tomorrow I will be exactly eight weeks pregnant and I am going to be going in for my very first ultrasound. And I'm really excited because obviously last time that I was expecting when I went in for my first ultrasound, that is when I found out that I was having twins. So I'm a little antsy <laughs> and really, really excited for it. This week I've definitely been feeling a little eh, which is why I'm literally working <laughs> by the fireplace today, just because I need to be comfortable right now. <laughs> and I've been kind of running cold, so that's why I'm having the fire on and I'm like all bundled up in the sweater. It's not that, well, I guess it is, it is kind of cold here. It's like 30 degrees outside right now as I'm filming this. I'm filming this in December. So it, probably you won't see this till after that, but <laughs> I wanted to share some thoughts that I'm having before my ultrasound tomorrow. So like I said, it's a really big deal for me to have the very first ultrasound for this pregnancy because like I said last time, that was a day that changed my life. That was when I found out that the little babe in there was actually two babes. <laughs> so I honestly, I keep going back and forth in my head about if I think I'm having one baby versus two. And I, I know that the chances of having twins two times is hard to imagine. So here's the thing. I had identical twins first, which is a complete random occurrence. And fraternal twins, which is genetic, runs in my family. So there is still a chance that I could have fraternal twins. Now what's ironic about that is if I would have had fraternal twins the first time, having fraternal twins a second time, actually the chance would have gone up. But because I had identical twins my first pregnancy, the chance of having fraternal twins stays the same as it was before because it's just like the first chance again, you know, over again. But I will say this, my chance of having identical twins goes down because it's like one in a million and then one in a million to happen a second time is just like unheard of. But to have fraternal twins, there is still a chance. So I'm like, what if? Oh my gosh, what if? <laughs> that would be crazy. I honestly just, as I'm like a realistic, I'm trying to be like a realistic thinker right now and not get too overexcited about it. And I think my husband's trying to do the same thing because I think in our hearts, there's a little part of me that like really wants it to be twins again. But at the same time, like, let's be real. If I were to have one baby at a time, that would be so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> we might just find out that we're just having one, which would be absolutely amazing as well. And maybe kind of a relief. <laughs> so many things go through your head, you know, when you're expecting. And also just in general in the first trimester, like you, I don't know what's going on in there. Like I feel what I feel, you know, but yeah, I can't see in there. And obviously it's not like I'm at the stage where I have baby kicks or anything like that. So you know, there's so there's only so much that I feel is in my control at this point, and I can't really see what's going on. So I'm just praying, you know, that everything's going great and that everything's healthy. You know, I mean, that's the most important thing is just that whether it's one baby or two or, you know, I just hope that everything is healthy and everything's going to go smoothly. Now, I had a dream, really vivid dreams, which has been happening a lot lately, first trimester things. Definitely a first trimester symptom is having really vivid dreams. But I had a vivid dream that I was having triplets. <sighs> now that would be really insane. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, whatever happens, I will take it as a compliment because that means that God thinks I can handle it. That's that's what I said when I found out I was having twins. I was like, you know, I'm going to take it as a compliment because God won't give you anything that you can't handle. 
and I'll just take it as a compliment. Like he thinks I can handle it, you know? <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Other than that, I will say the only other reasons why I am kind of suspicious about maybe having more than one baby is that I feel like I already have a bump right now. Now, with that said, I there are a couple things about that. One, when you're having a second pregnancy, you know, multiple pregnancies, it's not my first pregnancy. There's a bigger chance of having a bump earlier because like my body has done this before. It's like, oh, I know how to stretch, boom. <laughs> it knows how to make room in there. So, you know, maybe that's why I'm a little bit bigger earlier this time. But also, you know, I didn't entirely lose all of my baby weight. I actually, here's the thing. I think I did lose most of my baby weight from my, pre, from my twins pregnancy when I was breastfeeding. But then I was eating so healthy and I wasn't drinking any alcohol during that time when I was breastfeeding and obviously also when I was pregnant. But after I stopped breastfeeding, I went back to not as good of a diet and I'm pretty sure that's when I gained some of it back. <laughs> so I did start this second pregnancy about 20 pounds heavier than I was on my first pregnancy. So yeah, with that said, there's definitely a little bit of a difference there. Uh, and therefore that could be part of why I feel a little bit bigger this time. Like I am only eight weeks pregnant and I already feel like I have to really wear like my pregnancy pants to be comfortable. Like these are my pregnancy leggings already <laughs> because otherwise I am like very uncomfortable. Like I just feel like there's already a lot of pressure on there, which like I said, even despite the reasons that I mentioned, I'm like, maybe that means it's two or maybe that means it's a boy. I mean, I don't know. There are so many different things that you can think about. Obviously we have two girls, so my husband would love to have a boy, but of course we would be so happy with a girl or a boy or twin girls again, or twin boys. I mean, you know, anything <laughs> we're just praying for healthy baby or babies. But with that said, I, when I was pregnant with my girls, my twins, I ate so many sweet things. Like I, ha I didn't really have intense cravings. Like I never really had that, like where you crave weird food or something. The only real cravings I had was actually in the breastfeeding phase. And I think it's just cause I was needing to like eat so many carbs. <laughs> I was needing to eat so many calories. So I was like craving blueberry muffins at one in the morning while I was breastfeeding. <laughs> but during my pregnancy, I did definitely have a sweet palate. So I ate a lot of chocolate. I just remember thinking like sweets were my friend. <laughs> and recently, during this past week, I've definitely been experiencing a little bit more of the hormonal type stuff than I did during my first pregnancy, including a little bit of like queasiness, like not morning sickness, like I haven't gotten sick, but it's definitely like a light version of morning sickness, which has just kind of made me feel kind of uh, and like tired, hence why I'm working from my couch. <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to mention about the food is that I haven't been craving sweets. I've been more craving salty things. Like I have been wanting to eat, like literally yesterday, I could not bring myself to eat like anything that was in my house. I even made myself a really healthy soup and then I had one bite and I just wasn't interested in eating it. Like it, my appetite just went away. And it was really, it's like a soup I usually love to make. And instead I ended up eating like a handful of goldfish for lunch because that was the only thing that I could literally find appetizing. And then I think I ended up having like a sandwich and chips later on. Like, I know that's not healthy, but it's all I could bring myself to eat. Like I was really craving salty stuff yesterday. And so I am like wondering if that has something to do with the gender. I mean, I have no idea. I think it's kind of silly to think that a boy versus a girl would have different cravings, but I, I don't know. Maybe some of that stuff is true. I, I'll let you know when we find out. But yeah, I'm like, maybe that makes me think that it's a boy versus a girl. I don't know. So yeah, like I said, I, I definitely feel like there's a lot of pressure, especially in my upper like stomach area. So I feel like I'm also maybe going to be carrying high, which they say is more of a girl thing than a boy thing. They say is a low carry. I don't know how that works either, but I don't know. All of those are reasons why I'm like suspecting that 
maybe it's one, maybe it's two, maybe it's a girl, maybe it's a boy. Like, you know, there's all these things in my head. So obviously we're not gonna be able to find out the gender tomorrow. That won't happen until like my 20 week ultrasound appointment. But tomorrow we will definitely be finding out if we're having one or more babies. So yeah, just, I wanted to share some thoughts on that and I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage tomorrow when we're in the appointment. I have no idea if they're gonna let me, but if they do, I will definitely try to get a little bit of some video or photos. I'm just, I, I wanna save these moments and document our experience because this is such an exciting time. So, okay, talk to you later. Thanks for being here. So what do you girls think? Do you think mommy's having one baby? I don't want a baby. You don't want a baby? You have a baby. Daddy has a baby? <laughs> do you think there's two babies? Two babies. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you two do. Babies. Two, two, two babies. babies. That would be cool because then you'd each have one, huh? Yeah. But it might also just be one baby. I don't want a baby. Yeah. I want a baby. You both want a baby? Yeah. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> well, I'm excited. I'm baby time. That's right, baby and mommy's tummy. I am baby, my tummy. Your tummy someday, maybe, maybe when you're ready to be a mommy. Yeah, that's a ways away. So I just dropped the kids off at school, and I'm basically I had to also drop off my husband at work, and we are sharing one car right now. So there's that. Uh, I'm just basically gonna like set up camp and work from a Starbucks for a couple hours before we go to the ultrasound and then After that I have to go and get groceries because my family will need groceries for the weekend because I am then Driving to the airport this evening to hop on a plane to go to Colorado to visit And I'm just literally gonna be there for like 48 hours. It's gonna be a really quick trip I'm gonna be visiting my best friend for her baby shower, which is tomorrow and I'm so excited and I promised her I was gonna be there before we even moved to West Virginia. So I was like this is happening. I'm not missing it. So yeah, uh, it's a really busy day. As far as how I'm feeling, I'm eight weeks pregnant. So I, I definitely have had um, this week like some kind of nausea. I haven't gotten sick or anything like that, but there's like a lingering like minor nausea, which is not fun. <sighs> I could swear that with my twins, I really don't think it kicked in until like, I think 10 weeks maybe I think I was like 10 weeks pregnant when it kicked in like having nausea back then which is ironic because 10 weeks is one right when I found out that I was having twins that was when I had my first ultrasound last time whereas this time I'm doing it at eight weeks anyways with that said last time when I was pregnant around 10 weeks right after I found out that we were having twins I literally the next day literally the next day I hopped on an airplane and went to Europe for three weeks where I backpacked all around Germany and Austria for literally three weeks. And I'm, I'm not kidding when I say backpacking, like I was literally carrying all of my stuff, like all my clothes for three weeks, everything that I needed in a backpack. And we were going from city to city by train, by car, like you name it. We had, we, we were hiking around to find our Airbnbs, like from the city after we got off the train, after we took a bus somewhere, you know, like we were all over the place. So if I can do that while being pregnant with twins, I can totally fly today by myself, no problem. In two weeks, I'm gonna have to fly with the twins alone. So that'll be a whole nother thing. Anyway, this will be like prep for that. Just like flying during the first trimester. Yay. <laughs> okay, well, yep. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on how today goes and I'll let you know how it goes this evening. I'm gonna share a little bit more with you about what it's like flying alone in my first trimester while being pregnant and having that lingering like feelings of nausea anyway I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of like share how it goes and if I have any tips along the way I'm gonna share those too I'm just excited to hear the heartbeat <laughs> <laughs> heartbeats <laughs> that would be crazy
Okay, so we just found out that it is one baby. Just one. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a relief. <laughs> but also, with that said, now that we know it's just one, we might have the option to do a blood test to find out what the gender is. Because we didn't have the option to do that before. Because there were two babies. And there's not, it's harder. I'll explain that later. Anyway, so we might do that. So now I'm skipping towards the evening and I am at the airport getting ready to hop on a flight. And all I can say is the most important thing about today from our ultrasound is that we found out that our baby is healthy, has a normal sounding heartbeat, and it is in fact just one. That is the most exciting news of the day. And now I get to go tell my family in person and celebrate. Honestly, traveling by myself is so funny. I don't even know what to do with my hands. I'm so used to just traveling with my twins and, you know, always having to be mindful of the little kids while we're running around. And just me, you know what? I'm going to enjoy this little trip, this little getaway. I'm gonna splurge a little bit on a nice dinner for myself at a wine restaurant. Of course, I'm drinking water and not wine. It does look really nice though. The ambiance is definitely my vibe. And this is the type of place that I can't eat with my twins when I travel. So I figured I should go all out. And now I'm going to just enjoy this flight. I am definitely feeling tired more than your average flight probably because i am eight weeks pregnant it i haven't really felt overly tired yet but i feel like it's starting to set in so i'm just going with the flow listening to my body drinking lots of water and trying to take deep breaths i think that also helps with trying to fight back any queasiness that i've been experiencing Well, I made it to my destination feeling just fine. It is really late at night, so I cannot wait to get to bed. But thank you so much for celebrating this exciting news with us today and for hanging out with us as we discover a really important part of what is coming next in our lives. I think in my heart, I had my mother's intuition was telling me that it was just going to be one. And we're also going to be doing a blood test for the gender soon so i can't wait to update you on that thanks for hanging out with me and if you enjoy twin mom life or family travel i invite you to subscribe thanks and i can't wait to share more of this pregnancy journey with you